St. John Chrysostom says that in the miracle of the feeding of the 5,000, there are four great themes that we should focus on. The first thing he says is that Jesus meets the very practical, physical, bodily needs of the people. Christ doesn't just concern himself with some lofty theological or so-called spiritual need. It's the very practical needs of the people that Christ responds to. When we approach God in prayer, we can sometimes imagine that we should leave behind the, the practical daily concerns that worry us. But St. John Chrysostom says no. Every aspect of our lives, our worries, our needs, our burdens, must be brought before God in prayer. The whole of ourselves, every aspect of our lives. And the second great theme St. John recognises is that it is the disciples who intercede on behalf of the people. It is the disciples who raise Christ's awareness of the hunger of the people. And then Jesus, in return, tells the disciples to go out and collect food so that he can perform the miracle. St. John tells us that we, the disciples in God's world today, must be the hands, the eyes, the mouth, the feet of those who will be used by God to work his miracles. It is through our efforts, our response to God, our intercessions, that God will respond. And we are not just to see, the, again, the theological needs of people, but the very practical, earthly concerns of our neighbours. We are to recognise the bodily need, the, the, the sufferings of our fellow Christians under persecution, the very real human needs that people have. And then the third great theme St. John Chrysostom recognises is that through the bread and fish, Christ nourishes the people. St. John says, we must recognise how God nourishes each of us in our lives every day. Perhaps through the people we meet, the circumstances of our lives, the, the situations we find ourselves in, our sufferings. God is constantly drawing us back to him, granting us his grace, nourishing us. When we have an impulse to pray, we must imagine that there's some great act on our part, but recognize it as God drawing us back to him. The impulse comes from God. It is God nourishing us. And so we should respond with gratitude and thanksgiving. And finally, St. John says, after the miracle and the feeding of the 5,000, there were 12 baskets of food left over. He does talk at length about the symbolism of the number 12 but also he focuses on this theme of abundance 12 baskets of food left over the miracle has met just the direct needs of the people but beyond that and St. John Chrysostom says we should each recognize that God blesses us in abundance beyond our expectations and our needs beyond our imaginings the blessing of God is limitless his grace is limitless. His love is limitless. So let all of us live our lives with the belief and expectation that God blesses us, is with us, and that this blessing is in abundance.